Good morning. All right, it's been a little while, so we're getting back into uh, the swing of things here. Um, but we're about ready to go into uh, what I'd consider to be a really fun phase of the project. I had a lot of lingering items and actually still have a pretty good to-do list here of some things. Um, but I'm gonna start out by showing you a little bit of an update of what we've got going on. Uh, I'm gonna go through kind of what I'm planning on getting done this week and then what our next steps are. Um, so to start, you can see I've got some things that are popping up on the walls here behind me that uh, you may not have seen here before on the project. So the first thing you can see here is I've got all the windows now in and done in the apartment. So it's backwards on the, the video from how you're looking at it. So it's inverted a little bit, but you can see we've got uh, the slider here that's gonna go out to the patio, uh, 10 by 20. Uh, so 10 feet off the building, 20 feet wide. A little window here for the dining room. Uh, again, you have the, we'll have the door here, stairs going up this wall and then enter into the apartment right here. Uh, and then over in this corner is gonna be the, the bedroom for the boys. So they're gonna have uh, kind of a loft bed with a desk underneath. The desk will kind of come out so that they can look out those windows there, the two windows, and then there'll be a closet in the corner. Then they'll have kind of the wall here and then this will be the living room area right here. And then off the living room, kind of right where I'm standing, but up is gonna be where we'll have the kitchen and the laundry room. Uh, another wall right here and then in this area in this corner will be uh, the master bedroom so you could maybe envision the bed would be right there between the two windows uh, and then we'd have a, a closet kind of along this wall here and then rounding it out is going to be the bathroom so that's going to be a window looking out from the shower uh, so all the windows are done which is kind of exciting oh let me show you these last few over here so there's three you can see them back here uh, that kind of just are high high windows that open up into the shop just to give some natural light. Um, so those are all in and done as well. So and with those windows in, uh, we've also gone through and we've done all of the framing here on the inside of the building. So you've got the outside uh, girt and then you've got the inside girt too so that we can go through and we can attach whatever we finally decide on doing for uh, the interior wall material. Um, but I think our plan at this point, we'll see if it changes or not, but I think I'm gonna get a 12 foot sheet of, of drywall and go from the top down to uh, at least that girt right there. Um, so that'll give us eight feet from the ground up. And uh, we can figure out what we wanna do with that if it's gonna be uh, you know, plywood or whatever, but at least I can do it from the ground. So the, the objective is let me get up onto the walls and then also onto the ceiling uh, the, the wall material uh, that we need while I have the lift. So we're gonna press forward with that. But before we do that, we have back here, I have five of the nine rolls of insulation and I gotta go pick up the other four. Um, they're up in Bonners. Uh, but all of those, you can, if you, I haven't showed them to you before, you can see they're eight foot rolls. So the cool part about these is with them being eight feet wide, is they will fit perfectly into each one of these bays between the posts. So all I have to do for installation is just roll it out. I'm gonna cut it probably at about 19 feet uh, and then just kind of pull it up in between the inside and the outside wall girts. And then I'll just uh, tack it in on the side of the posts um, with the stapler. And the cool part about this product in particular is that the backing of it serves as a vapor barrier. So we'll have a built-in vapor barrier as we insulate, um, which is gonna be really nice. So it's gonna make that process be a little bit faster for us. Uh, and then it gets a little bit more complicated around doors and windows. You gotta you know, cut it out, but uh, it still should be a fairly fast process. The next thing that I've been working on that we've got done is we have three of the four garage doors installed. You may have noticed that behind me here. The fourth one out the back there is not done just because they don't have the right track for it yet. Um, but uh, so we've got the, the small door right here that faces out to the lake. I don't know that that's gonna be too practical for us for vehicles. It's more just about opening up to be able to get, um, you know, the view, air circulation, things like that coming through. And then we got these big guys here. Uh, these are 12 feet wide by 14 feet tall. Um, we've got one here, one there, and then it's kind of hidden behind uh, the boxes of doors right there. There's a pedestrian door right in, in the middle there. Um, so I got a little bit of work still to do on this one. I haven't done the bracing on the track up at the top. So that should probably only take about an hour to get that done. So that's another one of those uh, 
kind of punch list items that I need to get done today and this week. Then the last thing, well not the last thing, the next thing is I haven't completely finished this wall, interior wall framing yet. The bottom down here where we've got our, uh, our bug board, the grade boards on the outside, then the bug board. I've got two by fours that I'm gonna put along the bottom. I'm gonna use um, the pink sill seal um, foam. And then I'm also gonna use um, some good stuff and spray foam underneath there. So we get a good seal. Any wood that's touching the ground is gonna have uh, the protection of the sill seal. And then we'll have it all completely insulated and, and uh, filled up so we don't get bugs or rodents. Then I've got also to do for the interior framing. I have all of these ledger boards. These are two by 12 by eights. I actually have, I think 11 of them here. Yeah, 11. And so those are gonna be uh, what we'll use to attach the, at least the connection for the wall of the, uh, the floor joist for the apartment. So you've got the eight foot, between the eight foot uh, girt right there and the 10 foot girt is gonna go right in between there. Uh, the top of it is gonna be at 120 inches, 122 inches actually. Um, and so it'll actually sit two inches above the subfloor level of the apartment and it'll be flush at the bottom with the bottom of the, uh, the floor joist. So I've gotta get those up. We're gonna get the laser level out so we get those things nice and perfect. Um, but I wanna get those up on the wall and installed. And let's see, what else do we have here? Then I've got a lot of metal work here still to do, trim work, things of that nature. Um, so there, uh, all of the soffit that we needed, that we'd been waiting for, for doing the uh, sidewall soffit has now come in. Um, so I've got that. Let me step outside here real quick and I'll show you. Um, so everything up here, to close off this soffit, we now have, um, so I just need to get the lift out here and get that finished. Um, and so, and then we've got all the metal trim, including the pile of siding here that I need to get out from the snow unburied and uh, get that moved inside. And then we're gonna pre-drill all the holes for it. And then along with that, I've got, you know, the trim work that we need to do for the garage. So there's a, uh, there's a, a garage trim piece where the metal will come into here and it'll come out over the edge. And then there'll be a, a like a J channel on it so that the siding steel can come into it. Um, so I've got that inside that we need to get installed along with the weather stripping there. We got some doors to hang and get installed. I got to do a little bit of uh, framing wrap up here. So I've got to do the, the blocking um, in between there. And then on top of the connex over here, I have all of the rest of the metal trim. So the fascia, actually that's a bundle of fascia right there. Um, I've got the ridge. Uh, steel. I've got the gable steel. Um, we've got the corner. We've got everything. Everything's up there underneath all of that snow. So I've got to do a little bit of digging here. Uh, it won't be today. It'll be this week. It's on my list of things to get done this week. Um, but I got to get all of that out and inside here so that we can uh, work on getting that installed. And then I've got one other bundle in here. It's right underneath that roll of insulation. And that's the J channel that I'll need to do around all of the windows. Um, so I'm gonna do uh, the, it's the sides and the bottom first. And then once the wall steel is put on, then I'll go in with the piece um, for the top and kind of overlap that so that it, it overhangs. So there's just a ton of work. I was, I was getting a little excited that I'd be able to go start picking up the material to frame the apartment. But I think I'm gonna really just focus on all of those projects here this week um, getting that, uh, everything done and wrapped up. You can see how much space there is in here now. I mean, I did pull the trailer out, but once we get through all of this, it's going to be virtually empty in here, which is going to be nice. We'll have a lot of space to, to store material, um, and to work, which, which will be really handy. Um, so that's kind of it. I think in a nutshell right now, um, I got a ton of work to do. Um, all those little projects, each one's going to probably just take a few hours. So it's going to take a good part of the whole week. I think to get uh, get through all that. Um, last thing I've got here is just the stair stringers, but those are just kind of stored until, oh, oh, I'm sorry, here's the last thing. So um, we have one more uh, pedestrian door that's gonna go in the back here. So I've kind of put my scrap of, of lumber over here. I've got another two by six over there that we'll use, but I've got to move these because I didn't put that bracket in center to the wall 
So I'm gonna pull those brackets up, shift them over so that they're centered, uh, and then we're gonna frame out the door and then cut through and uh, out to the outside. But anyway, um, yeah, so we've, 